So this video is like a follow-up to an old video I made back then called Disabling Sanity Checks. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and use every single save editor. Well, maybe not every single one, but for the most part, ones for Borderlands 1, 2, 3, and the pre-sequel. So I have all of these links in the description below, so if you want to download them already, go ahead, but I'm going to teach you how to do it anyway, just in case. So let's start off with Borderlands 1. Borderlands 1 save editor is going to be Willow Tree. So Willow Tree can be found in SourceForge.net. I'm pretty sure this is the site where you can get the latest version of it. So yeah, just click on download right over here and then you should have the download for it. Or the file for it, rather. So yeah, that's pretty much how you get the save editor for Borderlands 1. And now let's move on to Borderlands 2, which can be found in Gib. The Gib will give you this link over here, which is gib.borderlands2. All you gotta do is just download this zip file right over here, which is the latest zip, as you can see right there. And yeah, once you download this, you should be good to go. And then let's move on to Borderlands the pre-sequel. Basically the same thing as Borderlands 2, it's once again in Gib, but this time it's called Borderlands Oz. I assume it's something to do with the Oz kit, so yeah, instead of like pre-sequel. Uh, so yeah, again, you just gotta download this file right here. Normally it's always on the top, the latest one, but it doesn't seem like there's any other different versions out here, so... Yeah, all you gotta really do is uh, this one right here. And lastly, for Borderlands 3, you just gotta go to this one over here, which is Nexus Mods. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this if you watched the previous video regarding disabling sanity checks. All you gotta do is go to this link and then download the file through this button right here. Good job! Now you have all of them downloaded. Now what do we do now? So I have prepared for you all of these in one folder. So you may recognize this one from disabling sanity checks. Make sure you have already done that for the most part. I'm personally not that sure if you need to disable sanity checks or something for Borderlands 1 and 3. I've never actually done them, so if anybody can tell me in the comment section below, that will be greatly appreciated. So let's start off with Borderlands 1. So, when you download the file, you should have a zip file or straight up a folder. I'm not actually sure, I think it's a zip file. But uh, yeah, you should have all of these. The only thing that's important to you here is willowtree hashtag.exe. Once you open it up, you're gonna have this. All you gotta do is click on File, Open. And then eventually you're going to see some save files here. Normally, save files are found in documents. Inside of your documents folder, you should find a folder called My Games. Inside of My Games, you will see all of these, but since we are focusing on Borderlands 1 here, let's do Borderlands Game of the Year. Go to Binaries, Save Data, and then all of your saves should be right here. So for example, I want to tinker with my Lilith save file. You just click on it and then there you go. You have all of these unlocked. So inside of general, you can change your character name, your backpack capacity, you can even change your character if you really wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend doing that unless if you like restart all of your uh, skill points, I'm pretty sure. Your level, your current level. Bank capacity, this one you don't really need to do if you're late game already. Weapon equip slots, I'm not actually sure if this can go higher than 4. Yeah, it cannot go higher than 4. These are experience points, you don't really need to tinker with those. Skill points, if you want to add more skill points for some reason, if you just want to like unlock everything in the tree, I guess. Playthrough 2, if you want it unlocked or not, the amount of money you have, and also your save slot number. You can also change current location through this. And let's move on to weapons. Now, if you're a newbie around here, you may ask yourself, how do I get more weapons into my character? I need more bullets, bigger weapons. Well, all you really gotta do is press this, import. Whoops, we don't have anything in our clipboard. How are we supposed to get these weapons now? And that is where Loot Lemon comes in. Loot Lemon is a website where it basically has all of the codes for any gun you want. So let's say I wanted an Orion. This is the Borderlands 1 Orion because it's the only Orion that exists. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the item card here and then you can see copy Orion code. So we're just going to click on that. Let's go back to Willow Tree over here. And then you can see import from clipboard. And now you can see the Orion has been added. That's pretty much all there is to it. But if you wanted to change some of the parts here, you can obviously just do that by going through here. And if you want to know what each part does, you can easily go back to Loot Lemon and it should tell you the parts. For example, Barrel 1 has minus 4% damage while Barrel 2 has all these other benefits and negatives. So if you wanted to change the barrel, you can just easily click here, Barrel. And then you can just choose from the barrels here. I'm not entirely sure why you can have the Sirkov or the Skull Masher, but do whatever you want. It's save editor. It's basically the same gimmick for the rest of this. If you want to change the grip, here's the grips. If you wanted to change the mag, here's the mags, and all that other stuff. Once you're done, you just gotta click on file, and then save, and then you're done. I'm not gonna save this because I promise not to tinker with this account, so yeah. Alright, that's Borderlands 1 dealt with. Let's move on. 
let's go back to our little folder over here so now let's go backwards and we can go on to borderlands 2 after opening up and extracting the zip folder or you can just have the zip straight up you can open it up and then you'll find this application right here borderlands 2.savedit you will get a similar pop-up now all you gotta do is press open or if you want to make an entirely new character from scratch then i guess you can press new but i would rather you just make a new character in the game and then you know just save quit so if you've been around my streams and stuff like that you will know that i have a decent amount of save files so let's just like click a random one i don't know save file the 001 so in general nothing here really matters what you want to do for now is character so for character, it's pretty much the same as Willow Tree. You can change their class over here from Axton Zero Maya Salvador, or if you wanted to, yeah, also the other two, Gage and Creek. Experience level, this is your experience level. Experience points, again, this doesn't really matter. Overpower level, this is your OP level. By the way, if you do not have the Commander Lift DLC, you should probably set it to 72 and 8 instead of 80, 10. For general skill points and specialist skill points, I'm not entirely sure what these do. Again, if anybody knows, you can tell me in the comments. But yeah, for now, I just have these set to zero. You can also change the name, which in this case, I guess this is the zero I use for bunker farming. You can also change the skins. For vehicle, this is basically the skins for the vehicles that you have equipped for this character. That's, yeah, that's basically it. Over here, you can change the amount of currency for this character. You can have Seraph Crystal, Sorg Tokens, Iridium, and also your credits. Reserved, you don't really need to tinker with this, so don't bother. So, for the fast travel system, this basically holds what your character has unlocked. Which, for some reason, I have not unlocked Cadnal Rex Crag. It's okay, it's just a farming save anyway. Alright, something you're all here to do is probably your backpack. Once again, this is pretty similar to Willow Tree anyway, but this time it has a convenient paste code function. So let's go back here to Loot Lemon, shall we? Let's say I wanted a Slaga. We will just click on the Slaga over here and then copy Slaga code. Go back to our little save editor and then press plate. Press paste code. There you go. There is our Bullets Go Fastified Slaga. Now, honestly, I like this one more than Willow Tree because you can actually have scrolls for basically all the parts. Because the problem with Willow Tree was that you could easily get some parts mixed up. But here, if you press the scroll or the drop down menu, yeah, it has all only the, the stocks, for example. Uh, it has the sites only. It has the bodies only. Over here, you can also change the title, but the title is actually name specific. So, for example, if I wanted to do, uh, I don't know, just like random one, like a hidden gold suit gun that's not gonna work you can see there's like a red thing here yeah i don't know what to tell you but that's not gonna work as you can see there just changed back so you can only really do it with actual existing names as far as i know so let's get this north fleet for example and then paste it here as you can see it's not red meaning this will in fact work and now we have a bullets go faster fight north fleet sounds about right now, me personally, I don't know what the difference between manufacturer grade and game stage is, but I personally just like to keep them at the same level. If you put them at 90, this is basically the Commander Lilith DLC level cap of OP 10. If you wanted to go back to base game, set both of these to 80. This is level 72 OP 8. The type is what changes this gun. For some reason, you can have Buzz Axe as this, but you know, we're not going to tinker with that for now. So this tab basically changes things to if I wanted it as a bandit assault rifle, for example, a doll pistol if I wanted to, or uh, yeah, stuff like that. The balancing is basically tells you what rarity it is, as you can see right here, uncommon, rare, very rare, all that stuff. Alien is E-Tech, by the way. Manufacturer, self-explanatory. The element over here, I'm not going to bother explaining the rest of these, these are pretty obvious anyway accessory accelerated in this case is bullets go faster fed sorry i kept saying fight earlier but that's not how you say it i don't know if you can actually put anything in accessory too but feel free to try material now i mentioned this in the video of disabling sanity checks here's a clip of that this is basically a vladov sniper mixed with a bada boom barrel ignore why there's no skin i set the material to nothing yeah what i meant by material is that it's basically the skin of the gun so if i for example wanted a logan's gun or something let me get the material of the logan's gun and then slap that material right here then now whatever this comes out to be this laga it is going to have the material or the skin of the logan's gun which is probably not going to look that good 
prefix. I'm pretty sure this is the thing that just gives the name of the prefix. And then quick slots. You can basically have this as your equip none or basically in your inventory. Or you can have them as your equip slot up, down, left, or right. And you can also change if you want this favorited, trashed, or just nothing at all. Inside of your bank, this is your bank. I personally don't know how to tinker with any of the raw data at all, but yeah, I'm just not gonna bother. And that is basically it for Gib Borderlands 2 Save Editor. Next up, we are going to do the pre-sequel. So you should get this, go to bin, and then go to Borderlands Oz Save Edit. Now, right off the bat, it's basically exactly the same as Borderlands 2, so yeah. I will say I personally don't have any save files at oh. Well, I don't know what that one is, but I can assure you it's not mine. I can already tell you now I do not have any save files for the pre-sequel because I never actually played the pre-sequel in this PC yet. But uh, promise me when I say it's basically exactly the same as the Borderlands 2 one, so yeah. But for example, again, if you wanted to import some kind of gun to the pre-sequel, you can easily just go through it in Loot Lemon. For example, if I wanted the Zim, then there you go, here's the Zim. Just copy the code for the Zim, and then there you go, just go to Backpack over here and then Paste Code. Again, once you've actually imported a character. Pretty simple, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that anymore. And lastly, we have the Borderlands 3 save editor. Now, when you receive this pop-up, it's basically going to be exactly the same, kinda. So let's open up our save files. Let's do our, I'm pretty sure this is my Zane. Yeah, this is my Zane. Again, in general, you don't really have to tinker with anything here. I mean, I guess if you want to tinker with playtime, then, you know, up to you. Inside the characters, once again, this is very similar, except that the currency is also here now. Your level, your mayhem level, your skill points, and how many playthroughs you've completed are all here. Changing your Vault Hunter is also possible, uh, once again. Naming your character is also here, and also your skins. You can also change colors here. And over here is basically the things you have unlocked for your character. This tells you if you unlock mayhem mode. This tells you if you unlock the Iridian Analyzer, which you get through a story quest. And this is the Iridian Resonator, once again, another story quest thing. Weapon slots 3 and 4, obviously, you have to unlock those when you progress. And this tells you if you unlock the slots for class mods and artifacts. Next is the fast travel. Once again, similar because, you know, it tells you what you've unlocked in your fast travels. Inventory, it's basically the same thing. You know, you got all your items here. Once again, if you wanted to paste the code, just go to... Oh, I closed out Loot Lemon, my bad. Just open up Loot Lemon. For example, if I wanted a Hellfire, make sure not to copy the codes of the other games and get the BL3 Hellfire. Just like, nope, just like that. And then paste your code right in. There's your Hellfire. Again, you got a lot of parts here. So yeah, you can tinker with those if you want. Something different though is that you will have something called generic parts. Now, generic parts, you will typically only have one, which is the mayhem level of it. But you can also add another. This one is your anointments. So yeah, there's a lot of different anointments you can choose here, like action skill and lifesteal, or uh, action skill and weapon damage. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, kinda. So when your action skill ends, for example, you get bonus weapon damage and all that stuff. Uh, Urad anoint is also here somewhere, if I, I don't know where it is really. Uh, all, all that different anoints, you know. Inventory data, I'm not actually sure if this what this does. Again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not the best at this. I'm just telling you guys how to use it in general. This is the level of the gun, this is the mayhem level of the gun. The manufacturers, obviously. I'm not entirely sure what happens if you click on no manufacturer, but whatever. But yeah, all of these other stuff I'll let you guys worry about, so you can explore. And something important I noticed just now is force legit parts. Something tells me that you don't actually need sanity checks now, and you can easily just like, do that. So uh, yeah, I guess you can make whatever incredible gun, I guess, if you want. Again, raw data, I'm not entirely sure how to use this, so uh, proceed with caution. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the Borderlands 3 save editor. I did forget to mention, if you ever wanted to make a new item in any of these, you can easily just click on new item. In this one's case, it seems that you could actually choose what kind of new item you want. So I guess I want to do an SMG, for example. And then the balance can be... Oh yeah, the balance, by the way, tells you basically what type of gun it is. As, uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that earlier. Let's do a plasma coil. Oh, that's not the plasma coil. Okay, whatever. Dark RB it is then. Save that. Right over here then. We go to level 72. Mayhem level 10. And then there you go. This will just naturally spawn in. Let's add a barrel. Let's yeah, just do that, I guess. And then let's add ourselves a four grip. I guess. I don't know. And we can have scope four, I guess. Whatever that part is. 
I'm not actually sure if you can add more than that, so I'm just gonna delete one of those. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. If you're, like, an expert in gun parts in Borderlands 3, you can probably do this. But, uh, it's, it's just generally the same, the way you make a new, uh, make a new item, weapon, grenade, whatever, I guess, uh, in all of these ones. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it. So thank you guys for watching this uh, four-in-one video, I guess. I hope you guys found this informative. And uh, yeah, I'll try to make more videos like this because I do like making guides also. It's pretty fun also, so yeah. By the way, Loot Lemon also does have a feature for god roll parts. Uh, if you don't want god rolls, then you're gonna have to manually tinker them, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, all the, all the weapons here are basically all set to god roll, so yeah. I forgot to mention, by the way, that Loot Lemon also does have class mods, shields, and all that other stuff that you can paste their code into the, you know, save editors. So, uh, yeah, just a little something you need to know. Anyway, I'll see you guys in another video. See ya.